On the 4th of November 2012, about 60 friends of Palestine, theatre persons, writers, artists, filmmakers, academics, students and activists, gathered outside Delhi's City Fort Auditorium, the venue for the Israeli state-sponsored performance by the Kamari Theatre. We are here to protest against a particular play which is being performed here in this auditorium, uh, which uh, is by a group which is, stands in support of Israeli occupation and aids the Israeli occupation of Palestine. So we are here as part of, uh, uh, of a campaign of Indians who believe that we should stand in solidarity with Palestine and the Palestinian people in their struggle against Israeli apartheid and Israeli colonialism and occupation. Their form of protest was an unusual one. All of them wore t-shirts which said, No to Israeli apartheid. There were no slogans or placards. Instead, they stood around the entrance, distributing leaflets and talking to theatre-goers about the boycott. A few theatre-goers actually responded and did not go in. I got an email about the play and I just thought, hey, I mean, it sounds interesting and I came, but uh, just by looking at the pamphlet and generally, I just, I mean, the politics behind the entire thing was, was not something that I had thought through and uh, completely convinced by uh, the fact that this is not okay. What are you doing? No, are we walking away because uh, completely agree. I don't want to indulge in anything that will fund an appetite, definitely. Uh, then I got their pamphlets and I came to know that this is actually uh, we all Indians should oppose it because uh, uh, the Camry Theatre is uh, performing at the settlements which illegally has been, you know, established by the Israeli regime in in the in the Palestine uh, on the lands which belong to Palestinians. Actually, I do not regret that I'm not watching the play because I'm happy that at least I have stood for something which is good. When I came here, I saw all these. Uh activists standing here with these t-shirts and I told them I agree with you fully and it's a great thing you're doing and uh, they said well would you also like to wear one I said yeah sure so I took one from uh, one of them and they said you know whatever so I decided I'll wear it inside and uh, that's what I did and uh, we would uh, I mean the the main door here right this one was blocked I mean there seemed to be quite a commotion out there so I thought we were all being left out and uh, finally they let us move in but then the, in, the the doors to the auditorium were closed so it seemed like there was going to be a stampede there was a lot of noise people shouting you know pushing so i went around to another door and i asked them what's going on so they said that uh, the hall is not ready yet that's what first one person said so i said well the time was given at seven o'clock and this is the first time in the history of uh, shri fort that we've not been allowed in uh, so I said, well, what's the problem? They said, no, no, because the, whole, the, the stage is broken. I peeped in, the stage didn't seem to be broken. All I saw was Israelis seated in the, or what, I can't uh, assume they were Israelis, the foreigners seated in the first two rows, and all the Indians were kept out. So I showed them the T-shirt. I said, well, isn't this what, you know, exactly what's happening? I saw that this is the kind of theater that, you know, represents apartheid. I decided to come out and join the rest of the movement. So that's what I've been doing. But unfortunately, we've been shunted back and forth and treated like terrorists. You can see all the guards lined up here as if, I don't know, we want uh, Palestinian territory. Uh, this is our own country and surely we should be allowed to make a peaceful protest like this. As always, with Israeli linked events, there was a police presence with a SWAT vehicle parked outside the auditorium. At first, the police did not interfere with the protesters. But in a while, with instructions from above, some of the policemen tried to provoke the protesters. The protesters remained peaceful, but asserted their right to be there. They pointed out that they were not shouting slogans or stopping anyone from going inside the auditorium. A clear message was sent to all present. Theatre goers, organizers, annoyed Israelis, even a few curious policemen. Indians of conscience will not stand by while the state of Israel occupies Palestinian lands and imposes its apartheid policies on the Palestinian people.